Hello, this safety briefing is courtesy of the 51st CS Ground Radar Maintenance Shop, and I'd like to show you a few of the many things you should know in order to stay safe when out and about off-duty during your stay in Korea. One of the most basic things to learn while traveling in Korea, whether outside the base or traveling to one of the many sightseeing opportunities, is how to safely navigate the streets of Korea. Crosswalks are always the best place to cross, but it's extremely important that you always look both ways first. When not available, use caution and ensure your safety. Another potential hazard to be aware of is that there are many narrow streets and alleys that motorists and pedestrians must share. This includes the walkways in the shopping districts and throughways. Always maintain situational awareness and look out for vehicles that may seemingly come from nowhere. One way and no vehicle or no parking signs are not always followed. Stray animals are also common on some streets. Petting these animals is not encouraged. Although many are small and look friendly, Many animals in Korea are not vaccinated and may carry disease, so use caution. Although walking can be dangerous in Korea, it is also important to stay safe when driving in Korea. While there are lots of great scenic views from the highway, make sure you're watching the road ahead because some drivers can be aggressive. You should be especially careful in the city because the high level of traffic and narrow streets can cause some drivers to take excessive risks. Drivers are known to merge into oncoming traffic to pass and do not always follow signs or directional markers. You may also find yourself in a traffic jam like this one, which takes special care to avoid collisions. Always know what is around you when backing up or making precision movements and use a spotter as much as possible. Now we will explore a couple other special unique items you will encounter during your tour in Korea. Yellow dust is a common name for a fine sand that blows in from China. This powder will reduce visibility, collect on vehicles or other surfaces, and may cause a breathing hazard. If high levels of yellow dust is reported, you may need to reduce outdoor activity. When you are out enjoying Korea's nightlife, you may be exposed to a drink called soju. Soju is a popular Korean liquor known for its low price and high alcohol content. When mixed with many juices, it can become tasteless, leading to excessive drinking and is the basis for many alcohol-related instances. When drinking soju, have a wingman, be responsible, and do not bring into the dorms as it is not permitted. Korea can be a great assignment as long as you learn from these tips. We hope you enjoy your tour in Korea and remember, be safe.